to move the wall files to a new location in PostgreSQL. So I have everything uh, noted uh, over here and we will go go through these steps and uh, we will follow it uh, uh, step by step. So uh, high level steps are uh, the, the current situation is I have the wall files configured at the default location, which is your uh, uh, PG data slash PG underscore wall location. Uh, due to some uh, some requirement, I need to change this location to some other file system where it is high performing, and uh, the the best uh, you know uh, the best practices also says that your wall files and database files should not reside on the uh, on the uh, same file system. So uh, for, to achieve that, uh, we are performing all these steps. What we will do, we will stop the Postgre cluster. We will move the wall files to a new location. Then we are going to create a symbolic link from existing location to the new location. Then we will restart the cluster and that's that's it. So I have uh, Postgre installed on an EC2 instance. So I'm already logged in over there through the MOVA XTERM and we are going to follow the rest of the steps. So what is the default location of uh, the wall files? So the default location of the wall files is in your PG data, PG underscore well. So what we will do is if you go inside this or if you navigate to this, you will be able to see the wall files which are available. So what we will do is we will create a new location where we wanted to migrate our uh, wall files. So I'm just going to create it uh, since I do not have a separate file system. So I'll, I'll create it over here. Let me see because I used this uh, earlier as well okay uh, it's empty the next thing which we will do is we will check the status of postgre and uh, we have to stop it if you do not stop it then uh, the things are going to be messed up and nothing will work after that stop it so that your postgre is not in use check the status again uh, we will check the status now. It is checked. And now what we will do is we will copy the files from our wall locations to the uh, new location. So my wall location is this one. So in my uh, PG underscore wall, I have one is wall file another is uh, archive underscore status so what i will do is either you use the r sync since i have a very small environment and if you wanted to move it at the high speed and you wanted to retain uh, the permission and other things uh, you can use the r sync but for uh, this demo it is a very very small uh, file which is available so we will navigate to that and we will simply use the cp command CP from existing location to the new location. So let's navigate to the new file system and see, yes, you have the both things copied over here. Now what we will do is we will rename the uh, existing uh, wall location so that uh, by uh, mistake also, uh, it's not passed up. So we, I already have this one. So let me delete this. So what I will do is RM minus RF. This is the remains from the previous demo. And we will now rename it. This is renamed and now what we will do is we'll just cross verify that nothing exists in the default wall location or that uh, directory itself should not exist. So it doesn't exist now. What we will do now is we will navigate to PG data and we will create the soft link. So ln hyphen S and this will point to the new location. 
and if you do ls hyphen ltr you will be able to see that pg underscore val is uh, redirected to a new location and now if everything has been perfectly fine so what i can do as a cross check is navigate to the new file system and see the two one file and another directory which is archive underscore status is available or not that's available so on the the top side everything looks fine so if i say pseudo system ctl start post gray sql 13 it should work it's working and 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 if i do ls hyphen ltr you can see that pg wall this is a soft link this is a soft link this is not the directory uh, this is pointing to this location so it seems the things are working fine if you wanted to cross verify just go to cd log just in case you wanted to check and you can check the log Uh, this is everything is fine everything is clean and good so our our system is is perfectly fine now uh, there are just few things uh, I can log into PSQL just to check if everything is fine or not I'm able to log in so the other thing uh, which uh, we should do is if you have already taken a backup of the uh, location where we uh, renamed it, you can take a f backup and you can remove it permanently. Okay, some of the things about the uh, well is, well is automatically enabled. You do not need to manually enable it. And uh, what you need is only the file system storage, which is uh, required to store it properly. And while files, uh, the wall records are uh, appended to the wall logs as a new record is uh, uh, written. And uh, the insert position is in the form of LSN, which is log sequence number. And where it is uh, stored uh, by default, it is by default uh, stored in PG underscore uh, well location. And if you have to create a new location, you have to tell that uh, the default location, which is uh, PG underscore well, that by default it will come to here, but using the soft link, you should go to the new location. And that's only possible when you create a, a, a soft link. And and that that's that's all about it. I hope this is going to 